So hello my beautiful friend and welcome to the demo of Altars, a game that I'm excited about. So we kind of do have sound. Um, yeah, let me put it up a notch here. And save. Okay, nice. Let's go. I know basically nothing about it. I just know that we play a clone. So we are our own clone right now. And uh, yeah, well, if you're on YouTube, please remember to do all the YouTube things. Hitting buttons is fun. And uh, we don't really know it, but we sense it. There is a sister ship to our life, which takes a totally different route. While the sun burns behind the islands. Thomas Tranströmer, the Blue House. Is it a Danish guy? How did I end up here? I don't know. Please tell me. My whole life, all its ups and downs, and Coco led me to this place. Far from home, far from anyone I know. A journey whose route is unknown. The destination, out of sight. I like it. Was this path just a random sequence of events that I had to follow? Or was there ever another way? Now, heading for the unknown. I can't really tell. Interesting. Is this the end of the road? Or is it yet another branching? Okay. So I also know nothing about gameplay here. <laughs> I'm just hoping that I can play it with my controller. That looks amazing. Holy crap, controller. A little stuttery, but fine, it's a demo. This is a 2D game. I need to figure out what happened. Whoa. Okay. Uh yeah, yeah, we know that. How do I jump? We can't jump, but we can sprint. Okay, nice. At least we can sprint. Do we have infinite sprint? Whoa! Oh, I can't look further up. That's an emergency flare for my capsule. Should look out for those. Oh yeah, thanks. Also, you oh. read me. This is Jan Dolsky. Yep, infinite sprint. Safely, no. but I think my capsule went astray. Oh, there are flares in the background. Maybe the radio's broken. Or maybe no one lives to answer back. Well, that would be a little bit too depressing. <laughs> Climb. We can do that. Wait, is there something else here? No, okay. Interesting. I like how the terrain was built. Those hexagonal... Um, oh no, it's not hexagonal. Oh, but still it looks amazing. I love the rock formation. This is something that I always love. It has something so aesthetically pleasing. Captain. Shit. Deceased, oh no. Deceased. What the hell? Not my 
much I can do for her now. Oh, I gotta, I gotta find the others. <sighs> Damn. So what happened? Looks like she died inside of it. I don't get it. So I like that we were just thrown into the game without knowing anything. But I really want to know what happened. Why did we have to get out of our ship? Was there a parasite or something? Was there an alien on the ship? There it is. Oh, that looks amazing. Dolsky here. Anyone copy? If you can hear me, I've located the base. I'm gonna try and get down there. The whole art style. I landed closer to the drop off point. I gotta keep moving. I just love it. It looks so good. And nothing is happening and I still... I'm kind of blown away by this. The stuttering is also gone. Really good. I So... I don't know if we're gonna run into bugs, but as far as I can tell, this is already a well-developed game. It's from 11-bit studios, but I don't know if that's the, the publisher. Wait. Oh. Wait. What? They're all deceased? That's impossible. They can't all be. Holy damn. Why? Yes, tell me why. Tell me why. It makes no sense. Oh, those were the flares we saw in the background. Warning, radiation. What? Now? Wait. Oh, shit. It's rising fast. How do we... Oh, there. Okay. Oh, you can't see the radiation meter on the bottom left. Um, um, but also the the screen is getting grizzly. Oh no, why is it? Oh, I don't like it. Please run, run faster, run faster. Oh, you can also see it on the backpack. So Dead Space style, love it. Ooh, the sense, little shiver down my spine. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. That was close. What the hell? Day one, cancer treatment. Oh, that's why I thought it's a 2D game. Anybody here? Apparently not. For a moment, I hope someone else made it. Is anyone home? I need to New find task. a comms room and get help. Oh, damn. Okay, let me just quickly put my camera on the top left. Oh, no, I can't go out. Oh, no. Okay, let me just quickly uh, do it like this. Uh, wait. And, oops, wait. Something, something is wrong. Why can't I... Why isn't it doing... What's happening right now? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Wait, I'm just gonna do it like this. Why can't I pick my camera? <laughs> oh, sometimes I hate PCs. Wait, can I, can I, no, don't. Why is it like this? Why? Something is really really wrong okay uh i'm sorry that it's so wonky right now i don't know what's happening 
um, because somehow I can't really work my camera. It doesn't let me choose the camera and I don't know why. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna play with that for too much longer. We're just gonna ignore it. Um, let's go back into the game. Uh, on the bottom left there is just the time of day and yeah, it's the time of day and I've got a phone call. Where is the phone call? Is this the phone? Airlock unavailable. Okay. Uh, airlock. Oh wait, comm center. Uh, command center is to the left of us. So, hi. Basement navigation system offline. Base building. Uh, open the build menu to see available modules. New models have to be placed near existing ones. Possible placement points are marked by lights. Okay. Build models, expand. Uh, no, we're not. Can we build a workshop? Cost four. But what does it cost? Uh, is it materials? We have three metals. Okay. Um, so, oh, he controls a little wonky, but that's fine. Oh, uh, wait, small storage, quantum computer, communication room is up there. Captain's cabin is on the bottom left. Machinery is downstairs. Small storage. Okay. What's in the storage? Just want to know. Storage list. Oh, mush. <laughs> the most basic type of food made of organics. Oh, that's, this can be anything. Organics, raw food, radiation filter, radiation filter. That's nice. Okay, that's what it's looked like. Uh, ooh, okay, let's... Before we go to the communication room, I just want to look at stuff. What is this? Radiation barrier. Filters and storage. Oh. Interesting. So this is also up and down. What is this? Captain's log. Database. Uh, okay. No entry yet. Oh, wait, there's tasks. Uh, find the communication room, storage. Oh, we can just look at everything here. What is this? Your energy. Set alarm. Uh, when going to sleep, you can select the hour at which you will wake up the next day. Sleeping longer gives you more work energy, represented by the pink bar. When it runs out, you will become tired and work much slower. You should avoid working while tired. A real life um, advice here. When the entire energy bar runs out, you will collapse from exhaustion and wake up the next day. Good to know. Uh, no, I'm not gonna sleep right now. Oh, they have a Dyson air filter here. On the left. <laughs> um, okay. Quantum computer, what can you tell me? Nothing. Okay, then communication center. Uh, nothing else here. Okay. Establish connection with Earth. Unknown, online. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? There's static on the other Maybe. side, nothing else. Mayday, anyone? This is only you, Captain Machine. Okay. It's a new captain speaking. I, yeah, uh, I'm here. But, uh, uh, I'm not the captain. I'm just a builder. Don Dolce. Corporate ID 4672B. Captain, the whole crew is gone. Yeah, but why? Cursor just flashes on the Hello? screen. Can you get me out of here? You're in imminent danger. Only short time remaining with the sun. Oh. What danger? What remaining to what? Static and weird creepy noises. <laughs> Talk to me. What's the danger? Planet activity rising? Days remaining to leave the proximity? Oh, because of the sun. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you go all fuzzy on me. Proximity. Oh, you fuzzy. Quantum nav system. Where the hell did it send us? Lethal proximity of what? Because the sun is burning. Yeah, well, it does. But... Give me, give me a, a 
star will come and, and burn this planet, and I, and I just have days to escape? Is that right? That's amazing. Not for him, but... Oh, sunrise. Perfect. Interesting. I need to find those captain's logs. So, let's go down. Uh, your energy, we already saw that. Evacuation procedure. Welcome to the evacuation functionality manual. In case of an incident that jeopardizes your mission and the safety of your crew, please follow the safety protocol and move the base to a safe location. The following steps must be accounted for. Refueling the base, manufacturing necessary equipment, securing food supplies. The steps will be automatically tracked on your HUD. Triple star systems. According to the recent Ally Core, <laughs> research and based on data collected from multiple missions, triple star systems are considered as potentially rela uh, related to a very high probability of discovering Repidium in the Ally Core classification system. The precise correlation between triple star systems and Repidium is yet to be scientifically determined, but according to some hypotheses, this may be related to the unique radiation cycle observed on planets belonging to such systems. Repidium is a highly unstable element and itself emitting significant amounts of radiation seems to be less elusive in the presence of such specific radiation patterns, as if fine-tuning its life cycle to the environment. Ally Corp employees should be aware that Thanks to these findings, in the upcoming years, we are bound to witness a significant rise in missions sent by Quantum Navigation System on course for a triple star system. Should such a system be identified in the vicinity of an Ally Core exploration vessel, this should, by all means, result in a notable increase of successful Repidium extraction and a major breakthrough for Ally Core and humanity alike. Mission captains must be informed, however, that operating on planets belonging to a triple star system involves the needs for some precautions. The complex gravitational structure with which the planet operates, apart from being the source of Repidium-friendly radiation, may result in life-threatening events, such as periodic lethal proximity of one of the suns, annihilation of the planet's surface and immediate destruction of all life forms in order to maximize efficiency even in the event of such occurrences. Ally Core has equipped its vessels in the cutting-edge C-Bar evacuation functionality, enabling the crew to extract Repidium while avoiding hazardous conditions. In the case of landing on a planet belonging to a triple star system, please consult the C-Bar evacuation functionality manual for further instructions. The above information is for the sole propriety of Ally Core and is highly confidential. We kindly remind you that any infringement of your confi confidenti uh, confidentiality agreement will result in legal measures. Ally Core, by the way, I love the name. <laughs> so quantum navigation. Um, Quantum Navigation System is the state-of-the-art route planning solution designed and implemented by Ally Corp to optimize the efficiency of space mining operations. How does it work? While the crew remains in cryosleep, the system actively monitors the ship's surroundings, modifying its trajectory and setting it on course for the most probable location of valuable resources based on cutting-edge technology. It collects massive amounts of quantum information, analyzing it in real time to determine the highest probability of discovering Repidium in a nearby system and eliminate non-efficient exploration. When the expectation of finding Repidium is classified as moderate or high, depending on mission-specific settings, the ship's traje trajectory is adjusted accordingly and landing procedures are initiated. The notification is sent to Mission Control to ensure maximum support at the onset of new environment exploration. The above information is... Oh, okay. So, um, we have to get out of here before uh, the sun burns us to a crisp. Uh, fundamentals. I have to find the evacuation procedure and get the hell out of this place. If I don't get the base moving in time, I burn to death. Yeah, please don't. Gather six metals outside. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't go. Uh, okay, this is all storage. Interesting. Oops. So, this is a radiation barrier. Wait. 
So let's go to the quantum computer and see if it can help us. No, it can't. Uh, no new messages. Okay. Then let us go outside. Here is the airlock. Radiation levels um, at night are deadly. Exiting the base is currently not permitted. You can rest in the captain's cabin until tomorrow. Okay, then we will do that. Uh, it's 23 p uh, uh, o'clock. Then we will work energy. Uh, waking up at 9 seems a little too much. This waking up at 8? Oh no, I don't know. This would be nine hours of sleep. That's a little... Yeah, let's just say six. That's fine. Let's... Oh, need Coco. Sunrise in eight days. Oh, no. Okay, let's go outside. I love this. Shallow deposits. You can find shallow deposits on the planet surface. They contain a limited amount of resources that can be extracted quickly. They can be recognized by red dust. Approach the deposit to interact with it. Do I have a map? <gasps> we do have a map. Okay, red dust. Oh, red dust. Let's go. Extract. <laughs> I love this. Empty deposit. Okay, but there is more. I quickly want to get as much as possible and then get back. It's already nine o'clock. Damn. Uh, okay, you know what? We're gonna go back. Uh, build a little bit and then we're gonna go outside again. I love this already! This hits all the sweet spots. Oh wait, there is a parachute. Oh, there is also blue smoke. Hey, that looks like our ship's cargo drop. Oh. It's filled with the crew's personal items. Multi-tool, book. Yes, please collect. Okay. Okay. Things that will make you feel comfortable far away from home. Objects that trigger good memories. Yeah, makes sense. Typical corporate bullshit. Okay, what is this? Organics. Please climb. I don't have a climbing hook. Are you serious? Oh no. Okay, okay. Let's go back and build a climbing hook in the workshop. Okay. We're building a workshop and then climbing hook. And then I want to see what the blue gas is. It's already 10.30. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, it immediately lands in the storage. What I pick up. So 1040 and now it's 1040. Okay, nothing much has happened. Uh, wait, where can we build stuff? Captain's cabin, command center. Where do we build? Oh yes, 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 yes. Wait, first manual. Uh, necessary equipment. Locating organic matter deposits requires the deployment of ally corp polygonal scanner. The sandy tool alongside the necessary equipment such as mining outposts and pylons can be crafted in the workshop module of the base. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Uh, exploration. Oh yeah, we... Climbing hot shallow deposits. Okay, uh, base overview. Uh, how was this? Uh, wait, how can we build? How was that? Oh no, I already forgot how to build things. Oh no. Wait, this is zoom. This is zoom. Uh, uh oh. Uh, I'm kinda lost right now. Was it here? Oh, it was here. Nice. Base navigation system to plants. Oh. Okay, okay. Build. Workshop. Let's build it. Can't I? 
Oh, wait, dude, let me build it here. Continuous building. I can't build it here? Why? 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 I... Okay, now it did build it. Base building advanced. Uh, you can find more information on base building in the captain's log. Okay, nothing cute. That's fine. Uh, climbing hook needs 12 organics. Damn it! A scanner. Estimated time. One hour? What is this? Crafting items? Yep, yeah, base building advanced. Okay, okay. That's fine. Um... Oh, interesting. Okay, it's 12.20 right now. System offline, base navigation. Wait, can we build something else? No. And for that we need organics. And we just have 10. Of course we only have 10. Then let's go outside. Because we have the scanner. What can we do with the scanner? Can we... Uh, first steps are scanning a deep deposit to find deposit. Organics deposit recognized by blue smoke. Yeah. Okay, let's go! So it's 13 o'clock almost. Organics. Yeah, and I want to scan it, but I can't go up there. Can I put it here? At least we have infinite sprint and it doesn't take away from our active work time. Oh no. I don't want to go that far away from the ship. Maybe we'll find another deposit in the area. Can we loot this one again? No, doesn't look like it. What happens when we go out there? Or is this just leaving the demo area? It's finding more stuff. Oh, I love this. Oh no. So this is a game that we can play multiple times. To min-max our findings. Oh, more stuff. A Yerba kit. I won it in the lottery. The gout and Bombilla collected dust for years, but they look too cool to be thrown away. Like a magic item that could be connected with my spiritual self or whatnot. I took it with me on the mission, hoping to get inspired to change coffee for Yerba Mate. <laughs> Oh, I kinda crave Mate right now. I'm so susceptible for stuff like that. It reminds me of a buddy of mine. Um, we were in the movies for Alien vs Predator 2. Terrible movie, was a lot of fun. But um, during the ads, before the movie started, they showed ice cream and he was like, oh, ice cream would be nice. And then they showed, uh, I don't know, cola. And he was, ah, oh, cola would be nice. And then they showed popcorn and he was, ah, oh, popcorn would be nice. And everyone around us was like, so, dude, <laughs> you're so susceptible to ads. <laughs> okay, can we go at least? I'm just walking around. This is terrible. I'm losing so much time right now. Oh no. Find an organics deposit area. I did find one, but I can't climb it. Oh, what, what is happening here? Is this... Oh, wait, what is this effect? Oh. Okay, let's look around. If we're gonna die, then I want to look around a little bit. Oh, maybe we can... 
No, I'm already here. Not gonna backtrack right now. Uh, can we go up there? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I accidentally pressed it. I just saw the button. <laughs> oh, no. It's 15.15 15 o'clock right now. And at 7.30, we're gonna be tired. Oh, that's nice. Yes, extract, please. So at least our storage gets a little bit filled. Uh, oh no. Oh, it takes away from the time. That's terrible. Oh no, okay, we have to go back after this one. Yeah, okay, let's go back. There is so much more. It's 1930, but at 22 we have to be back at the ship. Damn! I wasn't paying attention to the time when we were working. I love this. This is amazing. Do we? Oh no. It's... Oh, he gets tired. Okay, we have about two hours left to go back to the ship. That's doable. That's totally doable. Quickly go to sleep and tomorrow we're gonna do... Incoming radiation. Oh no! Uh, tomorrow we're gonna look for the organics. I can already tell we're not gonna be able to do this in the time given. Ooh. Okay, let's... Um, yeah, that was fine. Waking up at 6 is fine. All energy... Oh, wait. We have all energy. 20 hours. 18 hours. Then wake up at 8 so we can work longer. Because... My reasoning right now, we can do a lot of stuff outside, come back and do stuff inside. That would be the best right now. Because of the radiation we can't be outside, so sunrise in seven days. Oh. Okay, wait. Um no, where was the workshop? Ah, yeah, okay. Because oh no not workshop. Um here, build. An elevator? No, don't need it. We can't build a storage. A new storage facility, okay. Can we expand? Research required. Okay, then we're just gonna go outside and do our stuff. I think I know how we're gonna get to the organics. Because we can probably just go here and then walk around. So this is behind us. Let's go. My only nitpick right now is uh, the motion in inside our ship is a little um, spongy, let me say it like this. It feels like walking through, um, through mud or sponge. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> repidium discovered. Repidium? Uh, gather three repidium samples. Okay. I feel strange. I have to get closer. Whoa. Make sure. 
I need to collect a sample. Whoa, this looks so amazing! No storage space. No! Why are you doing this to me? Uh, by constructing an additional storage module. I can't! But okay, we have our uh, three Rapidium. Oh, this didn't count as... Oh no, I shouldn't have gathered the metals there. Okay, let's do this really quick. Oh, there it is. Then we have to come back. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, wait, wait. Oh no. Okay, how do we do this? Uh, scanning. The scanner allows you to f uh, find resource deposits by placing and collecting probes. You can discover the concentration of underground reef sources. Huh. Hold and select the scanner. Oh, there was. I don't know what's happening. Can we just expand this? Oh, what? Mining outpost. Huh? Oh, hey. How did we do that? Pylons. Use py uh, using pylons, you can connect mining outposts with the base. Each pylon automatically connects to nearby structures and can see possible connections in form of green lines when you have pylon equipped. Pylons can also be connected to each other, placing them in a line to connect the mining outpost with the base. Okay. Can I touch it? No. Building mode, mining outpost, pylon. Oh, I was really scared that um, the range wouldn't be that far. Okay, place pylon. Thanks. Do we have storage space now? No, we don't. Uh, jump down. Oh. Pylon. I love this. Ah, god damn it. Was a, ah, a tiny bit too late. Oh, now it should connect to the base. Should it? Doesn't it? Where do I connect it with? I am kinda confused. Do I only have one pylon left? Oh, okay. Fast travel. You have connected the mining outpost to base from now on. You can fast travel to move quickly between base and mining outpost. You can fast travel at the airlock base entrance or any outpost. Amazing. Okay, we have a little bit of storage now. But, wait. Let's go inside. Can I now build small storage? Yes, thank you. I'm gonna. Oh, this is a two space thing. Should we just. Does it have. Oh, it does have to connect on left to right. Oh no. 
we're losing space on the right side. I don't like that. So I messed up with the workshop there. Okay. Let's just build it here. Even though I don't like it. Um. Wait, we have a new phone call. Hello? Anyone copy? Static and silence. I went out to find resources and I found a cave full of something. I think it might be Rapidium. Now they come and save us. <laughs> you hear me? I think I found Rapidium. You sure about it? I'm sure. What? I, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, what else could it be? Test. Test the Rapidium. How would I do that? The womb. The blueprint. The womb. You want me to build a womb? Okay. Who are you? Who are you? Static cursor flashing, no answer. The womb. What? DNA sample, huh? I guess it makes sense. Rapidium speeds up organic growth. I knew it. God damn it. It's four spaces? Where should I put this? I can't put it anywhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can put it here because of the elevator. Or we can... We can just expand the elevator. Just a second. How do we do that? Elevator. I want to build another one. That's nice. Thank you. Uh, build the womb. But when we go here, okay, then we are using everything. It's nice. Okay, okay it's fourteen so o'clock. Have built a womb. Now, what could possibly come out of it? Test repedium. Interesting. Here goes. In a sample. Repedium. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> oh. Of course. <laughs> what else? Oh no, is this Dolly? Please don't die. Oh. If you need a name. <laughs> I think I'm going to call you. The clone sheep Dolly is oh. now Molly. Can I pet it? Hello, Molly. Nice. 10 out of 10. Fine. Love it already. The womb. So interesting. Okay. New call. Okay. I built the womb and uh, tested the rapidium. The DNA sample provided was a little surprising, but it worked, I think. I cloned a sheep. <laughs> Static weird noises. Hello? Can you hear me? I, I have a sheep <laughs> on board. You're responsible for two lives now. They don't care about us. Can you help yeah. me now? Now that I'm a real hero, I could use some real assistance. <laughs> and call like a Thanks boss. For reminding me. Okay. Interesting. Um, wait. Um, I have to open my window because it's getting really, really hot in here. Just a second.
because as soon as I'm starting to play a game, oh, my PC is just becoming a radiator. So, okay, we have a new small storage. Let's go back outside and gather the rest of the Rapidium. Um, so, it's drilling. Okay, can we do something with it? Work. 45 minutes. Oh, okay. Let's do an another one. Okay, damn it. So, Rapidium, that's important. I want it. Then we're gonna... I think we should have time to go back to our ship and then make the hook. Extract eight organic matter at the outpost. Okay, we can do that. Because we can fast travel back, that's fine. Empty deposit. Okay. The metals, we have 12 metals, that's fine. We don't need more right now. So I'm gonna focus on the organics right now. We already extracted two. That's one and a half hours for two of them. Three for four. Four and a half hours. Ah, that's going to be tough, but... Oops. But again, we can fast travel, so... so four. Okay, radiation at night. Oh no, radiation. Okay, we're going back. We're going back. Travel. Base. Forgot the radiation. Okay, um... A little bit too much radiation, but... Uh, mining outpost don't need climbing hook. We need uh, working for one hour. Pylon component package. Okay, no, no, no. Let's do this. Yeah, we're tired. I know. Oh, we're that tired. Just doubles the work. But we need it for tomorrow. Okay, we have it. Then let's go and take a nap. So, energy, 20 hours again. 20 hours should be fine. 20 hours is the all energy we have. Sunrise in six days. Oh, damn. Um, do we need anything? I don't think so. So, let's go... Gather the organics, and then let's go to the last metal deposit. Build a kitchen. Oh, wait, we're gonna need a little bit more organics. I at least want 15. I know it's a lot of time, but still. So, um, no, I don't want, I want the map. Yeah, just go there, pick up the last metal deposit, go back to the ship. That should be fine to escape the radiation because our radiation meter, uh, sadly you can't see it right now, I'm sorry, is halfway already. So that's bad. It's really, really bad. We have 70 mush, but we also have Molly right now. I love Molly and I will protect her with my life. Oh, you can see the radiation meter, uh, meter on the backpack. It's the yellow circle. It's already half full. It's bad. Uh, wait, where was it? 
To our right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Oh, no. Okay, we have to go back fast. Uh, to our left. This is such a nice mix of base building, time constrictions, exploring, gathering resources. Beautiful. Okay, as of right now we have gathered every deposit outside. That's fine. I accidentally didn't read the book as we found it. So the caption for the book, but that's fine. Oh, come on. Ten minutes. Please don't be radiated. I don't want the radiation meter to go higher. Woo! Okay, build a kitchen. Build a kitchen. A canteen in which you can produce food. Oh, it's also a big one. It's taking so much space that we can't reconfigure things. That's a little bit annoying, but okay, that's fine. Because I kind of want to do it. Oh, is this the organic matter thingy? The organics? The blue one? Okay, prepare six mush meals. We can do that. Uh, one, two, three. Because it's a package of two. And we're tired. <laughs> You're tired. Oh, damn. We Okay, we're gonna finish this one and then we're going to sleep. So, let's go take a nap. Oh, no. Uh... 20. Oh, it's way too late. Okay, I'm gonna take the 18 hours one because I want to go to bed a little bit early. We shouldn't do that much. Okay, let's continue. Okay, start the engines in the command center. Ooh. Uh, one down. Test engine. Turn the lever in the machinery. Oh no. Come on. Do this to me now. Emergency lever. Okay, that's sorted. Let's give it another go. Radiation barrier is still working. That's fine. Oh no, there it is. What? The emergency continues. Oh no. You have got to be call Ally Call. Just my luck to be stuck in a junkyard. Hey, you still there? I really need your help. I can't get out of here. I did everything according to the manual but there's a malfunction i can't fix i just don't know how qc model only the captain has access codes to the quantum computer okay. uh, thanks man that was easy okay Let's see, what do you have to tell me? QC storage data, accessing. Access granted. <laughs> Expired data. Mind records. Oh, what? Mind records deleted? What is happening?
Is this how we clone ourselves now? Does it start like this? I, I recognize this. It's my life. It's my life. It's now or never. Copyright infringement. Phantom slots. Select like event. Oh, what? Early childhood growing up, turning a blind eye, wishing to escape at the crossroads, moving away. Wait, 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 wait. How old are we? Why are there so many things? Project Dolly? Is this the clone sheep? You enter the spaceship with a tingling anxiety of excitement. You're going to space far away from here, just like you always wanted. Far away from your problems. You'll think about them later, or maybe they'll be gone the time you get back. Huh? Learning about the mission. We're just gonna go back. Uh, you toss and turn in your bed. You can't stop thinking about the Ally Core poster. Help us make a change. A space mining mission in search of that mysterious substance, Rapidium. It's a long shot, but it says you don't need any professional experience and you know you need to change. You haven't managed to stick to one job for more than several months. Nothing makes you happy. You're stuck. What if it's a way out? Losing Lena. Oh no. Uh, you look down another bottle. I know the feeling, man. I'm so sorry. And the wedding ring she gave back to you. A job at Ally Corps. Freedom, finally. She's got it. A new, better life without you. All you could ever do was hold her down. Look at yourself, drowning your sorrows in a bar. You're everything you promised yourself you'd never be. Where the hell did you fuck it all up? I know the feeling. Life path you, by the way, on the top right. Relationship problems. Damn, she's getting on your nerves. Why doesn't she just tell you it's all your fault those bills are piling up? As if you weren't working hard enough. And why does she make such a big deal of a few drinks before you hit the sack? You deserve to unwind after a 12 hour long day of work. Oh no. Asking her to stay. You're wondering if she really is okay with the decision to stay. Maybe you should have said yes. But how could you? It was a crazy idea in your situation. You need to prove it to her that it was the only sensible choice. You need to get your shit together. Give her a better life. Maybe find a second job. Lena's great change. You listen as Lena talk, exi uh, talks excitedly. She really wants to take the offer, move abroad, sell the house. But for how much? It would hardly be enough to pay off the bank with a soaring rate of interest. What about you? It's hard to find a decent job at home, let alone in a foreign country. After all your efforts to make ends meet, it would feel like going back to square one. Damn, just wish she didn't want it so bad. Trudging back up the hill. Christmas for tree for sale. <laughs> Red lights, you close your eyes and listen to the city traffic. Damn radio. All they know are Christmas songs at this time of year. You don't want to be reminded of that. Not when you're sitting behind the wheel of a leased cab. It's almost six o'clock. You promised Lena you'd be back for Christmas Eve by five. But it's a busy night and people leave bigger tips on Christmas. When the crisis hit. No, this can't be true, not now. You stare at the screen blankly. You, hear, you heard about the crash on the stock exchange, but heard everyone talk about a worldwide crisis approaching. But you, laid off. How will you ever tell Lena about it? What about your plans for Christmas? This is so depressing. Dreamhouse. Your face beams as you exit the bank, hand in hand with Lena, finally. Signing the mortgage papers was easier than you expected. Maybe it was worth putting up with that idiot of a boss for two years to get this place. A dream house. Lena has so many ideas for decorating it. If you hurry, maybe you can even get it ready for Christmas. You'd love to see her parents' faces when they see it. Yeah should convince her to invite them over. Oh, damn. The purgatory of 9 to 5. On the subway again, damn you hate that crowd. Day in, day out. Maybe you could take the later train and stay long at work. No, your boss would never agree to that. Punctuality is all that matters to him. Not that you <laughs> would actually do. Sometimes you feel all he needs to do is punch your card. And for what? Pushing papers and pretending to get things done. Someone pushes you as you try to take a seat. 
man, Monday mornings are the worst. Leaving the university. It was a tough conversation, but you handled it well. The professor understood your motives. Working for a private company gives you better prospects. You'll finally be able to move out of, of that dorm. Take Lena for a, pro a proper holiday. Yeah, it was a good decision. Oh no. What do we do with the quantum slots, by the way? New opportunities, hard work pays off right. You can be proud of yourself, a diploma with honors and other, and that offer. A PhD, it's tempting as hell, but that salary. How much longer are you going to be broke as for Lena? Uh, you'll think about it later. Time to celebrate now. Wait, wait, wait. These are a lot of things here. Select like the one. What can we do with this? I can do nothing. Moving in together. This is it. She's moved in. But is my cheap little rented flat good enough for her? Her parents would hate it. You know they would. And she knows it too. Is that why she doesn't talk to them anymore? She's not ashamed of you, is she? Whatever they think of you, you're gonna prove them wrong. Work hard and give Lena the good life she deserves. Man, just talk to her. We already know how it ends, but still, it's a lack of communication here. Meeting Lena at 24. Your heart pounds at the thought of this evening. You never thought someone like Lena would want to hang out with you. Slow down, it's only a project. Maybe you should have got something better than beer. <laughs> You could have bought wine, but wouldn't that seem like you're hitting on her? You're only teaming up for a project, but she's so different from anyone else you ever hooked up with. And she's like you. You can see she's like you. That's sweet. Doing it for her. You failed her. But what could you have done? Stayed behind in that miserable place to become bitter and dead inside. Be like dad. The sense of guilt holds you, up, uh, holds you by the throat. What if you ran away from it? Ditched college. Made a fresh start. Forgot, but wouldn't that be giving up again? No, mom. Uh, no, mom would want you to get on with your studies, get a good job. You have to carry on for her. Too late to say goodbye. Why is this so depressing, man? Oh, I'm so sorry for you. You missed it the moment she collapsed. The ambulance taking her to the hospital. It went, all went so fast. You missed the opportunity to talk to her when she was still conscious. You're back home now. But what difference does it make? You fucked up. It's too late. Say goodbye. Seasonal job. You look at the letter. It's tempting. Working abroad for two months. You could earn enough to support yourself for the whole semester. You could ditch those lousy part-time jobs and focus on studying. It's tempting. And you could send some money to mom. She needs it for a treatment. Too far from home. It's been months she's, uh, since you've been home. But you can't miss the post-exam party. All your friends will be celebrating. The company makes you feel good, like you found your place. You really want to spend the entire day on the train, only to see mom for a couple of hours before she goes to bed early, and all you'll be left with is constantly drunk of, of a father. See, that is why I call my mom every day after work. So five times a week I call my mom, because even though we have couple of years in front of us we don't know what will happen tomorrow moving away you promised yourself you get out of there you have to keep that promise you can't waste your life it's not something she'd want but you can still visit her a little less often maybe but you can you will visit her yeah you should at the crossroads you open the envelope with trembling hands, it's a good college, and it's close to home. You could visit mom regularly and get a good education. You tear the paper and see the results. No, not good enough. The only place that wants you is hundreds of miles away. You'd have to leave mom alone with him. Damn, that's loud. Um, 16 to 19 years old, wishing to escape. It's so hard to study for exams when your dad's yelling behind the door. Nam doesn't have the strength to fight anymore. Something's wrong with her. She's weaker, more passive. You know you should do your best to support her, but being home is just unbearable. You count the days to graduation, hoping those exams go well. Turning a blind eye. Another shitty day at school. You're taking the longer route home. Hey, what's that fight about? The boy shouts for help. He's looking straight at you. You should intervene, but the fear. No, better not to get involved. Run back home. One day you get out of here. You have to. So it's not only uh, home abuse 
um, shitty home, but also the neighborhood. Growing up, family like many others down there. Your father coming late from work in the mine, usually drunk, always pissed off. Your mother doing her best to keep the family together. Your constant desire to run away, to get out of that place and never come back. Early childhood, childhood memories, fuzzy and distant. The mining town you grew up in, rows of, uh, rows of similar apartment blocks, the local grocery store mom worked in, the playground where you spent more time than at home. Oh, that's it. Uh, we have no birth. <laughs> so what do we do here? Wait. How did they get it? And what for? Okay, okay, just a second. Um, I really need to use the bathroom. I will be right back. Also, I will bring my cup back. So, okay, sorry. I also used the opportunity to uh, cover my cat in her blankie. <laughs> so, okay. Um, let's continue. That was really depressing. Hey. So this is where we clone ourselves now to help with the work. What do you want with it? Um okay. Branching? What exactly will be branching? Yep. For pity. Cloning a sheep. Branching myself, altering my life by messing with my own memories. I mean, what the hell is he want me to do? No. no way in hell. Give me my other options. There are no other options. You jerk. I don't have other options, do I? Damn. Initiate branching. Okay. Authorization check. Branching. Mr. Unlocked. Procedure initiated. What? What is it doing? Oh, is it just taking the good parts? Searching for the branching point. This will branching detected. I remember that. So this is what the oh, branching is about? Oh no. Okay, here it is. Was it here? No. Uh oh no, it was the house. It was the house. Uh great chance. Asking her to stay. Yes, branching moment. Oh no, wait, wait, where's the house? Uh crisis hits. Dream house! No? Is it this? How do we do? Uh... I'm kinda confused. Oh, it was here. 50% efficiency when doing base maintenance. Oh. Cost 2. What is this cost? You lock the door to your room and turn the music up. You're so fed up with this constant shouting. Is this what you rejected college for? Putting up with this frustration and drunkenness. You told yourself you'd take care of mom, but he's not making it easy. Maybe next time. You should just lock the door for him. But what would mom say? Oh, okay. So we get a clone that's better at base maintenance. Oh, the symbol was Rapidium. Is he naked now? Or does he come out with clothes? The altars. Okay. Oh, that was the demo. Okay. 
I think it's... That's the end. Is it? I'm so not sure right now. <laughs> and I'm kind of scared that this is copyrighted music, so I'm just gonna keep talking. And I don't know what else to say, because I don't want to be copyright struck now, because there is a song in the game, and I don't know if it is a popular song, because I am old, I don't know modern songs, and if they are popular, and what they do in uh, media, and so on. I don't know the hits. I just saw the French Paul Walter that was disqualified because his schlong got, um, well, he hits the bar. <laughs> <laughs> and the amazing shooting people, uh, the Korean main character, the Turkish um, uh, hitman, and oh wait, this is oh why why does he look like Jesus? <laughs> oh now we can <gasps> wait, forcing him to leave. Uh, there is story for the alternate life path? There you did it not so hard after all. <laughs> he turned out to be weak, begging you to let him in. You had to be strong, assertive. You read about, <laughs> about it online. <laughs> Shut your ears to his false promises. Imagine out music in your hands. Think of mom, her safety. There, it's done. You won't be a problem anymore. Ups and downs, you laugh as mom tells you a joke she heard in the doctor's waiting room. She cooked her pier... what? Pierogi? I don't know what that is. Man, don't you love them? And her relaxed, smiling face when she can be herself without that monster bullying her. You just wish you could find more than a part-time job to support the two of you. That prescription she bought home today is gonna cost you plenty. Rejecting the offer. You smile as you walk away from the mine. Dad was behind the job offer, that's for sure. Trying to clear his conscience, redeem his sins. The steady job was tempting, but you were assertive. Again, now you'll owe anything to... Uh, what? No way, you... You'll owe anything to him. You'll make it on your own. Always do. Final goodbye. Okay, this is way, way better now. You hold back the tears. You look at her on the hospital bed. You knew this was coming, her health deteriorating fast in the last month. You just didn't want to think about it. You hate uh, you hate that helplessness. Damn, get your shit together, Jan. You need to be strong for her. Promise her you'll make something of yourself. Keep her smiling to the very end. Becoming a technician. You brighten up as the engine starts. Yeah, fixing things always make you feel look good. Uh, makes you feel good. Like you really can change things, make them better. Looks like going to that vocational school wasn't just parting gift for mom, but the best you could do for yourself. So this is where the fixing the engine things come in. Father figure. It feels good to become an expert on something. The boss says customers ask for you specifically, and you can see you replacing him when he retires. It's a new feeling to be trusted, respected by another man, a mentor. And he's the first person you open up to about mom's passing. Why couldn't dad just be like that? That's sweet. Suspicious wizards. Oh no. You try not to eavesdrop, but it's the third time this month this fishy dudes are here. Talking to your boss behind closed doors. He says it's nothing, but you can see he's distracted. Doesn't look you in the eye that much. Disappears for hours, leaving you in charge of the business. Is that a good thing, or should you be worried? Fooled again. Fake batteries, counterfeit parts. Is that what it was all about. As your boss is being taken away by the police, you feel like an idiot for trusting him, thinking that you could open up to him, while all this time he's been lying in your face, pretending to be a friend. What a fool you've been. Treat it as a lesson, Jan. The only person you can rely on is yourself. So even in this uh, timeline, he gets screwed. Walking away. Of course it was just a matter of time before they approached you. Now that he's in jail, his word about you replacing him seems so ironic now. You don't want anything to do with them, but what if you lose your job? You love that workshop, but they're criminals. No, assertiveness. Remember, don't be scared, you can make it on your own. Starting anew. As you turn the paycheck around in your fingers, you think of mom. She'd be happy to know you're finally making good money. Working in an international factory on a contract employment, you stayed strong and made something of yourself. She'd probably be worried that you're still on your own, but 
that's the way you prefer it. So he didn't see Lena in this one. Ghosts from the past. Watching the bartender pour you another one. Oh no, it starts again. From the corner of your eye, you catch a glimpse of a figure watching you. You turn and see it was just somebody's coat. You smile with a relief. For a moment, you thought it was dead. You sip your drink and listen casually to the conversations at the tables. It's good to not have problems. Bad habits. Oh no. Your friends burst out in laughter. The jokes just keep coming to you. It's a good night. You just got your paycheck and you're buying rounds. Okay, calling these people friends, oh no, is a little too much. You've only just met them. But you're having fun together, right? The girl to your left been giving you signals. Could this be your lucky night? Financial crisis. I wonder why. I Also, I know that feeling. Uh, I've been in his shoes. The damn crisis you just had hit when you were starting to actually enjoy life. Your whole branch is being shut down. You'll be lucky if you keep your job at all. This damn Edward just gets on your nerves. Rapidium, a magic trick to make everyone happy. Who's stupid enough to even think of going on these missions? Hmm, I wonder who. Seeing him again, you can't make up your mind. Bet safely or take the risk. Wonder who that guy's putting his money on. Wait, is that shit? It's him. Dad. He looks like a tramp. Of course, he visits the bookie regularly. Fucking loser, man. Just hope he doesn't recognize you. Get out here, quick. Don't ever come back. You're not like him. You've got to get your shit together. Project Dolly. You look at the spaceship entrance, only fools don't change their minds, especially if your debts are mounting. You'll be fine, you just need to make it through this mission. They respect professionals like you. you just stay strong, you'll be alright. Wake up at your, wake up your altar. He's not naked. <laughs> when did he got clothes? So, hello. Uh, hey, hey, hey there. Uh, wow. Uh, hello, hello. Can can you hear me? Uh, I, uh, what is this? Young technician. Oh no. Anxiety, insecurity. Where am I? Also, I know that feeling. You're in a lab inside the SIBA unit. Your memories might be a bit fuzzy, but relax. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I recognize the face. I think. Wait. You look funny. You. Ha, ha. Well, we're basically you brothers know. now. What, what was that? I wanted to laugh, but I'm like. Different. I think you're on some meds. What? What for? Depression. So you don't panic when you wake up. Oh, okay. Why would I panic? Anxiety, discontent. I'll, I'll explain later. Right now, let's check your mental condition. Okay. Do you think you can, uh, introduce yourself? Sure. But can you? Oh no. Well, no, I don't know. I don't want to make him more anxious when I'm telling him that I'm him. Um. You first. I insist. All right. Insecurity, John less rebellion. Okay. Senior technician at Allied Corp. Mining operations. There. Did I pass? Senior technician. Wow. Amazing. It actually worked. What? What worked? Inside to discontent. What the hell are you anyway? This may be hard to process, but my name is Jan Dolsky too. Huh? <laughs> Start laughing. Of course it is. Now you're not bad for a imitation, but what the hell? Are oh you? Is no! Is this some kind of experiment? 
Hmm. Yes, if it is, nobody warned me. Nobody could. Um, it is. Do we get rid of the clones afterward? I don't know. It's not an experiment. This is for real. And I'm for real. So, what's going on? Well, I got stranded in this base, and, um, well, I needed someone to help me move it. Because it got broken. Then, okay, this is the crazy part. I learned that there's this functionality of the quantum oh, computer no. on board to, uh, well, create alternate versions of a person's life. What? Replicate a person, but with different experiences. Mind records. <laughs> there's anyone in a bad mental condition in this room. It's definitely not me. The QC's only functionality is to navigate these junkets. I mean, theoretically, it could do other stuff, but such bullshit. I know. It's absurd. I this thought is so same, trippy. Here you are, right? Right. And if I understand you correctly, you're telling me you're a oh, no. alternate version of me with a different mind? No, I'm not going to lie to him. No, you're an alternate version of me. And, uh, Frustration, rebellion, shit. Yes, it's just us. Like I said, there's and a Molly. malfunction in the machinery. If you don't help me fix it soon, we're both gonna die. So, wait. I cloned you to fix the ship. Straight. This is not an experiment. I'm a different version of you. How many voice lines you did they make for this? Life to help fix a malfunction because there's no one else on board. Yes. What if there was no malfunction? Where would I be? Uh. Uh. You'd still exist somewhere? Because both of them imply that he would always exist. Would still exist somewhere? Theoretically, at least. Theoretically? Oh no, frustration gloom. You bastard. I'm so sorry. I can see now what the meds are for. I can't even lash out at you. Just this passiveness. Rebellion. What am I? Look. Frustration. I totally get you, man. <laughs> but trust me, if we don't fix the machinery fast, we're gonna go in a very bad way, and you'll never get the chance to understand this properly. Experience your feelings without the meds. <sighs> I don't like this kind of pressure. Well, frustration is getting bigger. Fine. But at least Rebellion is small. No. Oh. Unbelievable. What a screw up. A three year old would have figured it out. Okay. In any other case, I'd say don't touch anything here ever again. But unfortunately, this is a two man job. Of course. On my sign. Pull that lever over there. Just don't yank it like an idiot. Pull it gently. Ready? One. Yes. Two. Three. Now. Yes! <laughs> it worked! You did it. We're gonna live. Let's get nice. one thing straight. I did what you created me for. Oh, are you going to die now? Stay away from me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, where? Wait, where will he sleep? Young technician is born. Oh no. Start the engines in the command center. Uh, young technician in machinery. Uh, wait, where are we? Well, 
On top. Okay. We need organics. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it's 12:40. That's fine. Okay, okay. We can do that. Let's just pick up more organics so we can also make a little bit more food. I think it's a little sad that this thing doesn't work on its own. So, um, we have 20. Let's finish this one. Okay, let's go back. Because we picked up everything here, so we can go back. Uh, don't be radiated. Start journey. Uh, do you want to automatically collect the structures before starting on your journey? Of course. Uh, collect. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah, we have enough. Let's go. Storage is not unlimited. Keep an eye on capacity. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I was not expecting this, but I love it. Journey 1. Oh, does it expand our time? Okay. In kitchen. What do we do now? Open the altars tab. Uh, wait. We had everything here. Oh, the altars tab. Food. You consume one meal each day. Meals can be prepared in the kitchen. Yeah, we already kind of know that one. Database. Organics, Rapidium, providing food. Uh, depending on the circumstances, the evacuation procedure of the Seabar base can take up to several days. Proper nutrition of your crew during that time is essential. Food supplies can be prepared in the kitchen module. If food shortages are detected, the evacuation procedure will be assessed as too risky and the quantum computer will prohibit its initiation. Damn. Wait. Where's... There. Altars. The altars tab allows you to check the mental and physical state of your altars. The event log on the left provides insight of recent events. Okay. Oops. Wait. Uh, altars. I'm pissed off at Jan. He's really irritating. Um, yeah. Insecurity, anxiety, burden, gloom, frustration, rebellion. He looks a bit annoyed. No hunger, ate adequately today. Minimal radiation, no injuries. Talk to the altar. Talk. Hi. Hey there. I said, don't come near me. Okay, we need to fix the comm rooms. Why do we need to fix the comm rooms? But, okay. I get it. You're angry. I would be too. But I could really use your help. You know, if we manage to get the comms room running properly, we'd probably be able to get out of here. Oh, yeah, because it's Stop messed up. Stop pretending you have any idea how I feel. I don't give a damn about your comms room. We're moving, aren't we? Now get out of my face, creep. Oh, uh, you do the same. You're pissed off at me now, but deep down, we both know you do the same thing. Really? You said it yourself. We might look alike, but we're different. Like oil and water, if you ask me. And they no, we're not. Mix well. I know you, I created you, that's not what he wants to hear. Holy damn, who would pick that? But you Frustration, discontent. Me, just as I couldn't make it without you. In a situation like this, hiding in a trench is just plain stupid. Yes. I'll tell you what's stupid. Listening to someone who created you because he needs a fucking tool. Why don't you get I love that he has a number. Kid and fix your own shit. I'm done doing it. Yeah. Modules deteriorate over time, which makes them prone to failures. To repair the communication room, you need a repair kit. You can craft one in the workshop. Okay. 
Oh no, wait. Where was the workshop? Oh. Repair kit. Oops. Okay. So we have no timer right now. No new messages. Figure out how to get along. Answer the call. Who are you gonna call? Lucas! <laughs> Hello? Uh, Mr. Dalski? Yes? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Are you okay? okay? Uh, far from okay. Are you serious? I just had a choice to either die in pain or duplicate and edit myself. I'm far from okay. Yes. It's uh, called branching. The duplicating and editing thing. Yeah. I Good need to, to know. know if thanks. You pulled it off. Really? And I need to know who I'm talking to. I didn't catch your name. It's oh, Lucas Pena, on the top left. Traffic control. Orbital substation L7. Now, the branching. Did you do it? Yes. How can you be so calm about this? Yes. So we do a lot of crisis management here at STC. We need <laughs> but you reported finding Rapidium. That's yep, it's exciting, always actually. just about the product. Uh, give me someone higher up. That's not going to work. Uh, what are the mind records? So we can ask him questions or we can just... What about the mind records? Hmm? What is all that personal data doing in the base computer? Oh, that's... Um, uh, the, the corporation needs to ensure the safety of the mission and uh, basically everyone. It's confidential, of course. And it yeah, but still it's sketchy. Life. It's really, really sketchy. What went wrong with the landing? What the hell? What went wrong with the landing? At least it's not aliens. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I'm still analyzing telemetry data from your flight, but it seems something went very well, wrong. Well, thank you. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. We know there was a major system malfunction, but the reasons are unclear. It's too early to tell. We need more data. Okay. Why did everyone no, die? No killed the rest of the Aliens. Looks like an oxygen leak in the landing pods. But they had no idea why suits. though. Then how come I survived? You tell me. You know, you're not very informative. Yeah. I don't like confusing assumptions with information, Mr. Dolsky. Conclusive evidence is more my thing. I like him. I never I consented. I don't recall consenting. Well, you must have, since it's there. Maybe you didn't read your contract thoroughly. <laughs> they like to put these things in fine print, you know. I want to talk to someone higher up. Do you have a boss? Uh, I might sound... I might sound young, Mr. Dolsky, but I'm not here by accident. No offense, man. I just need to know this stunt was authorized by someone. Look, I'm on my own here at the station, but oh, I contacted my why boss, are you alone? and we're good. Nothing to worry about. Something's also really wrong at the Ally Corps. Have you done this before? Of course, I mean, that it's a corporation, but still. Considering there's no Rapidium on Earth. So how did you know what would happen? I didn't know. I anticipated the outcome based on historic data. What do you mean historic? historic data? Yeah. Some old research. Nothing important. How long have we been gone? So, you're getting me out of here, right? You know how to do it. Safely. Sure. First thing I'll need you to do is to transport the base to a safe and accessible destination. I'll dispatch the coordinates to you. Yes, thank you. Uh, second thing. Do you think I could see this altar? Of yours? Why do you see us? That's not a good idea. He's pissed off at me and won't cooperate. 
Then we have a problem. You'll manage without his help. The base needs more hands on deck. Yeah, I know. There should be a way to gain his trust. Sh show him you care. Yep. Thanks for the advice. I told him I wouldn't survive without him. Yeah, that's just words. Maybe you should share something. The book? What? Why? I don't know. Or oh, the martyr thing. Spot. My grandma used to say, sharing is caring. <laughs> Yay. Let me think. What can I share with him? My playlist? <laughs> My Spotify account? <laughs> Wait, suppose it's not about what you can share with him, but what you already do. Um... Isn't a memory and the life basically the same thing? Because we don't share the same memories, only to a certain part, uh, to a specific point in time. A big chunk of life, I guess. Until we but it's still the same answer, part, I basically. I what he thinks about why his life went in a different direction. Yeah, mind records. See, you were so spooked by them, they could be a source of information. Fine. I'll check them out. Yeah, good happens. thing we already checked them out. Shit, I um, gotta go now. Urgent call. I'll get back to you as soon as you reach your destination. Don't worry, you're in good hands. Okay. L7 out. L7. Read about the other's life in the QC. We already did that. Learn more. Button doesn't work. So. Yeah, we already did. Oh, we have to look at everything. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go through here. We already know what happened. And then... Ask the author about the memories you share. Uh, hi, sorry to bother you. I've been thinking about what you said. I've been thinking okay. about what you said. We are different. We have more in common than you think. Oh no, what does he want to hear? Uh, yes, but we are different. You're right. We are different. Sure we are. Like, I got that right away, and you took your sweet time. You stood up to Dad. I'm serious. You stood up to Dad. I didn't. Oh, really? Less frustration, less what anxiety. What do? Just stand and watch him take it out on Mom. I thought about stepping in. I was always a, a heartbeat away from doing it but when it came down to it I love this I just, just um, mimicry guess I was afraid of making things worse yeah I remember the feeling but then I reached a breaking point looks like you didn't hang around long enough to reach yours hmm, I wonder why you know this I was or a coward maybe I was a coward Going to college was a good excuse to just get away from it all. Oh, so that's less frustration, less anxiety. Went. Did you shine out there? Were you best in class? No. What do you think? Huh? Yeah. I build around this merry-go-round. That's who I ended up being. I'm sorry to disappoint. Why would I be disappointed? Just proves I was right to stick with mom. Wait, yeah, kind of. Is mom? Is she maybe still around here? That's burden motivation. Oh, I wish she was. She always knew what to do, and how to cheer you up. Burden discontent. Hey, when you were down, or dad had just stormed out of the house, slamming the door behind him and leaving you crying in your room, would she? Asked me to help her make pierogi. Her famous pierogi. Fun, let's go. Oh my god, I could really pig out on those. And making them together was fun. Fun. Yeah, 
Wow, why don't we go for it? Why don't we try and make Mom's famous beer? Oh. I no way we find the ingredients here. Coolant and oil, beer and synthetic starch, grease and fungicide. Yeah, because we don't want to get drunk. Don't go into bad habits again. Why not? There's grease. I also saw a packet of useless fungicide lying around somewhere. Yeah, hilarious. I can pull it off. You'll see. But there's one condition. You're eating them with me. If you die, I die. Why not? <laughs> Won't change much, I guess. I love this. Quality food. Each person in the base consumes one meat per day. Higher quality food has a positive effect on the mood. Pierogi. Oh, wait, what is this? Raw food. What is pierogi, by the way? Eat pierogi. Will we see it now, what it is? Here you are. The famous Dolsky pierogi with an interstellar twist. What do you think? Oh. <clears throat> now I know how Mom must have felt. That day she had a terrible flu and I decided to cheer her up and make pierogi for her. I... Yeah. I Dumplings. Put like a ton of salt into the filling. And I overcooked them into a shapeless pulp. They were inedible. But you remember what she did? Uh-huh. She ate them all and never said a word. No, no, she said they were delicious. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So? They're delicious, <laughs> man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I love this. So pierogi are Polish dumplings. So, yeah. Talk with the altar. So, 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 are we cool? How do you feel? How do you feel? Great. The serving of dehydrated dumplings completely changed my outlook on the situation. I feel so. <laughs> I love Yum Technician. It went that bad. Now you're being weak. I went through a lot of trouble to make those, and they weren't that bad. You made an effort. I'll give you that. But see, that makes it even worse. It would be easier to take you, but eating those fucking people, <laughs> I actually enjoyed it. Beautiful. Are you showing feelings? No, so, so did, did I. I. Sharing these memories with you, knowing you understand me, that was kind of comforting. Are you getting mushy with me? What? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. I know what you mean. I'm just not the sentimental type. Who's being sentimental? All I said was... All right, all right. Just tell me what the plan is. Uh, we should trust the corporation. No. We need to handle this our way. The corporation is supposedly on top of this, but I know better than to put my life in the hands of any pushers. Oh, I hear ya. You never know with those numbskulls. No. Right. So, until the rescue ship arrives, we better watch our own asses. Do they know about me? Oh, they told me. No. They were the ones who told me to create you. Bastards. No. Tell me you know what to do. Oh, um... Yeah, we kinda know what we have to do. Uh, but also we have to improvise. All I know is we need to get to a safe place. Then, we'll improvise. Well... One thing you should no. know. This base I is know my brother. consuming maintenance heavy sucker to operate. I have you to help me. That's not gonna be a 
We need a new altar. I'll be blunt with you. If you want to survive, you're gonna need more people. People? Wow. Um. The Rapidium's there. Use it. Make more versions of me. Uh, versions of us. Yes. Versions of us both. You mean? Huh. That almost sounded like we're planning kids. Oh, that's cute. You need to work on your cooking skills, though. I can't wait to do it again. I was, <laughs> I was hoping I could avoid going through all that again. Oh no! Why do you say that? Struggle. Okay. <laughs> one day you'll look okay, back okay. and realize I was the easy one. Later this year. Okay, we're through. More Is this the end of you, the demo? I'm afraid. So, where's the captain? I told you, everyone died. Oh, this is insane. What a trip. It's not a trip. It's reality. Your new reality. Are, are we brothers or something? Yes. We have the same DNA, but we led separate lives. What the hell? Calm down. You're not the original Jan, but that doesn't Botanist, mean you can't be important. Scientist. Refiner, miner, doctor. Like me, but also God like me. What the fuck did you drug me with, man? No. You're not hallucinating. Holy damn, he looks happy, he's fuming with rage. Oh. Okay, this is a game where I will definitely keep my eyes on. Do you remember who you are? My name is Jan Dolsky. Jan Dolsky. But I'm seeing fucking double. You should worry about that. <laughs> oh, the pierogi. Wait, is, can you see my mouse? Oh, no! One had the dumpling. <laughs> I love this one. Ah, here, the pierogi. The dumpling. It is. Okay, I love this. I love this game so much. There is Molly. Um, this is beautiful. Really, really love this. Uh, I'm gonna leave them a feedback. Uh, because the only thing I'm nitpicking right now, and this is really just a nitpick, is uh, the movement in the base. It feels a little bit too swampy. Um, so I need a little bit of a bit more... Uh, what's it called? Um, I forgot the word. Uh, it's, it has to be a little bit more snappy. I love Musician Jan, Kitchen Jan, <laughs> Ally Core. Okay, where do they get all the clothes? Okay, but amazing game. I really, really love this one. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, again, uh, tomorrow maybe we're gonna stream. Um, I have to check if we have time for that. Um, but we're gonna take another game. But this one, again, it's already on my wish list. I wished it I wish listed it before I started the game. I'm really excited for this one. Uh, if you want to see more of it, please tell me um, for you on YouTube. Um, I'm streaming this live on Twitch. Um, and yeah, well, uh, remember to do all the YouTube stuff, please, because hitting buttons is not only fun, uh, why? Because that way we can build a bigger community and play more games together and go on adventures. That is amazing. I love this so much. So, my beautiful friend, um, I forgot what to say. Um, oh yeah, have a great day. <laughs> stay fantastic, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next video. Also, bye Twitch. Bye. Bye. Bye.